Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 3A of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 72 and we're doing question 10. Before I start, once again, we have G. Uh, we have G defined at negative 9.81 meters per second squared. The Cartesian or XY plane and also the usual unit vectors I hat slash J hat. So, question 10 reads as follows. Find the range R of a projectile whose initial velocity is 10 I hat plus 7 J hat. What is the height when its horizontal displacement is 3 quarters r. So what's the first thing we do? The first thing we do is we sketch what's going on. So we have a velocity time diagram where t is on the x measured in seconds and velocity on the, is on the y measured in meters per second. We also know the projectile is projected of course and I'm going to call that initial velocity u. And remember u is a vector Therefore, it's a resultant vector because it's not just it's not just we'll say vertical or horizontal. It takes up both x y axis or both uh, you know apart in both unit vector directions. So it's made up of two component vectors. We'll say this one was u sub x and this one here is u sub y, like so. All right, whereby u is equal to they're both vectors u sub x i hat plus u sub y j hat, like so. All right. Now we're actually given that u is equal to 10 i hat plus 7 j hat, and as a result, u sub x is equal to 10. And that's equal to 7. All right. So we're already given that straight out, which is great. Now we don't need this anymore, so let's get rid of that. So the rest of it is actually not too difficult because it's we'll say the particle continues off like so. All right. Now the range. This is a velocity time diagram, so it's not obviously a displacement time diagram. But either way, the displacement or, or the range would be from here to here on a, um, on a, on a distance time diagram. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is UVAST, and we're going to talk about each of the, di the dimensions separately. So just one moment and I set this up. So what the first thing we need to do is put in the information that we know. So the first thing we know is that u sub x is equal to 10. u sub y is equal to 7. The acceleration sub x is equal to 0. And the acceleration sub y is equal to g. Or minus 9.81. Remember, if you're leaving it as a variable, leave it at plus the variable. So, the next thing we need to do is... Oh, time, by the way, t is common to both. So the next thing we do is our velocity. And I'm going to use, use the formula for velocity of v is equal to u plus at. Apply that to the x direction, you get v sub x is equal to 10, of course, because there is no acceleration. v sub y is equal to 7 plus gt, like so. Next, we're going to do s sub x and s sub y, the distances. So we're going to say s is equal to ut plus half at squared. So s sub x in the x direction is equal to 7t plus half 0t squared. So it's actually 7t like so. And in the y direction, it's 7, or that, sorry, that should be 10t, excuse me. All right. And then s sub y is equal to 7t plus a half gt squared. Okay, something we've done loads of times. Now we're asked to find the range r. So we're told the range is equal to r. All right, the range is the distance s sub x, the distance in the x dimension. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we need to do is find the time t at which we're at that distance r. So how we do it? We say, well, what's the what is the condition for maximum range? And that's the uh, the height above ground is equal to zero. So it's obviously hit the ground. So we know that at maximum range, in a second now you can see this, max range s sub y, the distance above the ground is equal to zero. Of course, if you throw your slitter into the air and hits the ground, after it's hit, hit the ground, you know it's traveled as far as it's going to travel. So let's do that. We'll say that s sub x, or excuse me, s sub y is equal to 7t plus a half gt squared is equal to zero. And this is a polynomial. 
just remember again just to rearrange it so that's g over 2 t squared plus 7 t times t to the 1 plus uh, we'll say 0 times t to the 0 like so. So look it's a polynomial because there are powers that's what a polynomial is its highest power is 2 so it's a, high, it's a polynomial of degree 2 which we call a quadratic so let's just rearrange the quadratic so we get uh, minus 9.81 t squared plus 14t is equal to 0 now instead of using the formula as normal because the way, just the because the fact that we don't we say t to the 0 is, is multiplied by a coefficient of 0 then I'm just going to take out t so we have t times 9.81t plus 14 is equal to 0 where you have two things multiplied together to get 0 one of them must be 0 so t is equal to 0 and also minus 9.81t plus 14t or 14 is equal to 0 and as a result t is equal to we'll say minus 14 over minus 9.81 is equal to let's just find out now 14 divided by 9.81 1.42 seconds all right is that correct just let me find out now 1.42 seconds 10 over 2 7 just one moment now yeah that's correct all right so at to at 1.42 seconds after it started flying in the air it's after hitting the ground so we need to find the well now we need to find the range so 1.42 seconds like so so we need to find s sub x at t is equal to 1.42 so an s sub x is equal to 10t is equal to r is equal to 10 times 1.42 is equal to r if r is equal to um, 14.2 meters like so oh excuse me you couldn't see that so just let me check that for a moment s sub x is equal to one sec now 1.07 yeah I'm just I'm going to check that at the back of the book just give me a moment please Three A question ten. Say ten over seven. Yeah, that's correct. So the range is correct. So let's do the second part of the question. It states what is the height when the horizontal displacement is three quarters r. So first of all, we need to find out what is three over four r. That's equal to three over four times fourteen point two. So let's find out what that is. Ten point seven one meters. And that's equal to S sub Y. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that now. So what we need to do is find the uh, the it's find its height and its horizontal displacement. Yeah, so we need to find its height when that's not equal to S sub Y, that's S sub X. So we need to find the uh, height when the, the range is equal to 10.71 meters like that. So the first thing we need to do here is equal to 10.71. And we need to find the time at which the range is 10.71 meters and apply that time to S sub Y or the height. So let's do that. So we say 10T is equal to 10.71. T is equal to 10.71 divided by 10. So that's equal to 1.07 seconds. That's the first thing. All right. So we need to find the time at which that is equal to one point, or the, the distance at uh, one point zero seven seconds. So s of y is equal to seven t plus a half g t squared is equal to seven times one point zero seven plus a half minus nine point eight one times one point zero seven squared and I'm just going to do that now on my calculator
1.87 meters. That is S sub y at a time 1.07 seconds and at that time the range is equal to 10.71 meters. And uh, that's that. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.